Hi, hello. Welcome to the course on Mechanical Measurements. I am Nilambika Yen from the Department of Collegiate and Technical Education. I will be discussing a unit 2 that is transducers and strain gauges. Uh, this is a session number 1. Let's start a session number 1. Uh, in this session, we are going to discuss what is transducers and we are going to see some of the characteristics of transducers then we shall see some of the some of the factors which are needed for the selection of transducers then we be, will be going to see some sample questions that may be asked in the end examinations then we shall summarize the session whatever we have seen in this session then we shall conclude the uh, this session with the um, test i'll be giving some multiple choice questions to you and you need to write down the answers let's start transducers what is transducers i uh, i would like to uh, start up with the transducer with some example like uh, earphone i think you all have seen earphone and earphone as a two transducers one is microphone and second one is a speaker what's happening in a microphone microphone is a one which converts your uh, sound signal into an electrical signal and then if you take a speaker in the earphone it converts your electrical signal into a sound signal so transducer is a one which converts one form of energy into a another form uh, we are giving some where transducer is also has known as prime sensors pickups and signal generators so these are another three names of a transducer we can call it as a prime sensors we can call it as a pickups we can call it as a signal generators so in day to day life uh, there are some examples of transducers a uh, number one my as i said microphone what is happening in microphone the sound signal is converted into a electrical signal if you take the one more example as loudspeaker what's happening in loudspeaker uh, electrical signal is converted into a sound signal uh, if you take uh, i would like to take one more example is electrical motor what's happening in electrical motor an electrical energy is converted into a rotation of the shaft or the rotation or the motion if you take led bulb in led bulb the electrical signal is converted into a light energy if you take thermometer in thermometer the temperature is converted into a electrical signal so uh, let's see some of the electrical transducers with respect to this course electrical signals converts some displacement into an electrical signal or a thermal into an electrical signal or optical signals into an electrical signal so in in measurement system this converge after the conversion what happening so these after the conversion these signals are amplified they are going to be recorded and they are processed in the system so as i said what transducer does a transducer will receive the non electrical signal and it will be converted into a electrical signal so in this flow diagram i think you are able to understanding this in from this diagram a transducer is a one which is converting from non electrical signal into a electrical signal so we we shall see some of the uh, electric transducers so number one is a piezo electric transducer what happens in piezo electric in piezo electric transducer uh, uh, the force applied on a piezoelectric crystal is converted into a electrical signal like voltage in thermocouple the temperature is converted into a voltage 
இஃப் யூ டேக் ஃபோட்டோ ஓல்டாய்க் இன் வாட்ஸ் ஹேப்பனிங் இன் ஃபோட்டோ ஓல்டாய்க் த லைட் எனர்ஜி விச் ரிசீவ்ஸ் இஸ் கன்வெர்டட் இன் டு அ ஓல்டேஜ் ஐ திங்க் யூ ஆர் கிளியர் வித் த கான்செப்ட் ஆஃப் ட்ரான்ஸ்டியூசர் ஸோ லெட்ஸ் கோ ஃபர்தர் we shall see some of the characteristics of transducer what a transducer should possess there are some characteristics a transducer must have the number 1 it should be of compact in size and it should be small in size and it should be of less in weight and the second characteristics of transducer is sensitivity that means for small changes in the input it should be able to produce the output the car the transducer should have high sensitivity and the next characteristics of transducer is reliability that means for long duration of time it should be able to produce the same output so it should have high reliability the next characteristics of transducer is of cost so it should be available for l- low cost the next characteristics of transducer is repeatability means for multiple test of inputs it should be able to produce the same output it should have good repeatability the next characteristic of can- ca- transducer is accuracy it should be have accurate for fast transient pressures the next characteristics of transducer is linearity linearity means the it should have linear relationship between the input and the output the next characteristics of transducer is stability the transducer should have should be stable with the environmental changes such as friction vibration temperature etc so these are some of the characteristics of transducer next we are going to see next we are going to see some of the for the next topic that is characteristics of uh, selection factors to be considered for the selection of transducers there are some factors which are considered for the selection of transducers number 1 nature of measurement to be made what kind of measurements we are doing that means uh, whether the uh, measurement is from force to a voltage or from displacement to a voltage so which type of conversion we are doing depending upon its nature we are going to select a transducer the next selection factor is mechanical input characteristics in mechanical input characteristics we have linearity that means there should be a linear relationship between the input and the output next mechanical hysteresis a uh, transducer should have low mechanical hysteresis means it should be have it should not have backlash loose screw or the friction in the sis- measurement system and it should be next factor is creep it should be having low creep that means it should uh, it should it should be fast response to the input signal the next selection factor is loading effect it should a uh, transducer should have low loading effect that means uh, the it uh, the loading effect is depend upon the impedance it uh, for a low loading effect it should have high input impedance and it should have low output impedance the next selection factor we are considering is environmental factors it should be able to withstand 
environmental factors such as vibration, overheat, high temperature and friction. The next selection factor is transducer capability. That means the range in which range we are going to measure. For example, if you take a weighing machine, for small amount of weight to be matched, we are the, the range of the tra, uh, transducer would be in milligrams. Uh, if you take, if you want to measure the large amount, more amount to be measured, we are, the transducer range would be in kilograms. So depending upon its capability, we are selecting the transducer. The next selection factor is an economical considerations. N means it should be of low cost. Will be, so I think you all understood uh, the selection factors which are needed for the selection of transducer. Next we shall see some of the sample questions in this session that they may be asked in the end examination. Number one, define transducer and list the characteristics of transducer. The second question that may be asked is list the factors considered for selecting a transducer. Let us see what all we have gone through till now. So first we have defined the transducer. What is transducer? And we saw some examples. What is transducer? Transducer is a one which converts one form of energy into a another form. Uh, we saw some examples like microphone, loudspeaker, LED bulb, electric motor, thermocouple. So these are the some examples we saw in the transducer. The next we saw is characteristics of transducer. So we saw some characters a transducer should possess. In that we saw good repeatability, good reliability, high sensitivity, it should be of low cost. So there are these or some other characteristics we saw in transducer. Next we saw the factors which are needed for the selection of transducer. We saw nature of measurement to be made and we saw some mechanical input characteristics such as linearity, mechanical hysteresis and creep. We saw loading effect, transducer capability and uh, environmental factors, economical conditions. So these were the some of the factors which are needed for the selection of transducer. And we saw some sample questions uh, that, um, that might be asked in the end examinations. So let's uh, conclude this session with some test. So I will be giving multiple choice questions. Now uh, you, you need to write down the answer. So let's start the test. I will be giving the first question. The first question for this test is a device which converts one form of energy into another form is called as the options are number one converter, is it a transducer, is it a transformer or is it a processor. Which device converts one form of energy into another? Can you guess? The solution is B. Transducer. So, transducer is a one which converts one form of energy into another form. We will go to the next question. The next question is a transducer are also known as so number one primary prime sensors, second pickups, a third signal generators or processor. So what we call transducer? Some another name of a transducer. Option A statements one and two are correct. That means is it a prime sensor, they are called as prime sensors and pickups. Option B, statements 2 and 3 are correct, means they are called as a pickups, 
and they are called as the signal generators. Option 3. Statements 1, 2 and 3 are correct. That means transducer are known as primary sensors, pickups, signal generators. Option 4. All are correct. The solution is option C that is statements 1, 2 and 3 are correct. Transducer are also known as prime gen sensors, pickups, signal generators. Your next question is select the correct characteristics of a transducer from the following. In this which is the correct characteristics? Number 1. Is it having high accuracy or is it having high error? Is it having high cost? Is it having large size? What it possesses? Which character it has? Can you guess the answer? The solution is option A high accuracy. A character of transducer is it should have high accuracy it should not it should not have high error it should not be of high cost it should not be of large size it, but it should have high accuracy we'll go to the next question mark true or false a transducer must have linear relationship between input and output option a true option b false Solution is option A true. A, yes, it's a right. A transducer must have linear relationship between input and output. This we called as linearity. A transducer must possess linearity. We'll go to next question. Mark true or false. A transducer must have high loading effect. Option A true, option B false. Can you guess? The solution is B. Option B false. A transducer should not have high loading effect. It should be having low loading effect. Okay. We will go to the next question. Select the correct statements from the following. R1, number 1, a transducer should have high sensitivity. Second, a transducer should be stable with environmental changes. Third, a transducer should have high reliability. Fourth, a transducer should have slow response time. The options are statements. 1 and 2 are correct. What are those 1 and 2? A transducer should have high sensitivity. A transducer should be stable with the environmental changes. Option B. Statement 2 and 3 are correct. 2 and 3 are. A transducer should be stable with environmental changes. And a transducer should have high reliability. Option 3. Statements 1, 2 and 3 are correct. A transistor should have high sensitivity. A transistor should be stable with environmental changes. A transistor should have high reliability. Option D. All are correct. The solution is option C. Statements 1, 2 and 3 are correct. That means a transducer should have high real sensitivity. A transducer should be stable with environmental changes. A transducer should have high reliability. I would end up this session with a quote from Albert Einstein. He says, once you stop learning, you start dying. So let's not die without learning. Let's update ourselves. Thank you.